Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can track uh, ads, um, how you can track ad blockers uh, within uh, Matt 180. So uh, by ad blockers, I mean those extensions that a visitor can uh, use in order to block uh, ads which are on different uh, uh, media platform. And the one I'm going to take today is the one of uh, Google, uh, Google AdSense. So uh, let's get started. Um, gonna just explain as well the methodology and the way I was working. So uh, I'm not a developer, so I'm able to identify what the issue is. And the issue is that uh, one of my clients is using Google AdSense and would like to track within Matomo Analytics the fact that some people um, are uh, using ad blockers. So I looked for uh, this information on, on GitHub and I found out this uh, this bit of code. I like this bit of code because as you can see. It's not big, uh, so it's uh, easy to understand, though it has uh, many issues. So in fact, here, uh, what this script is doing is that it's uh, looking out if um, Google Analytics or uh, the words uh, ads by Google has been uh, loaded. If that's the case, it's going to send an event to Google Analytics as a non-interaction. So as you can see, uh, there are things in the script that I, uh, that I don't need. Uh, and things which are uh, useful. So in my case, uh, what I will need to do is that I will need to change those parts because I don't want to have any push made to Google Analytics, but I need a push made to Matomo instead. Uh, the issue that I have within Matomo is that when you send an event, if I'm using, for example, the event tracking in Matomo, you don't have the possibility to say that it's a non-interaction. So to say, if I'm using the event for Matomo Analytics, I will get a bounce rate, which will be uh, equal uh, to 0% all the time, so that's not suitable. And by the way, using uh, sending events may not be uh, the right solution in, in all cases, mainly because um, someone is using an ad blocker or is not using an ad blocker, which means that it mostly linked to the visit. And as it's linked to the visit, it makes more sense uh, to have a custom dimension based at the uh, visit level rather than an event. So in fact, in the final script, uh, that I add, um, I change this to a custom dimension instead of the visit level. And as well, I don't need to track the fact that someone is using Google Analytics because I don't care about this part. Uh, the other issue uh, that I have is that, of course, here the set timeout function will be sent. So here in this case, only after half a second, uh, which may not be the, the best solution because people can uh, click away um, very quickly or uh, the page cannot even load at all. Um, okay, so what I did is I took this script and then I asked my friend uh, Lucas to uh, ask him if he can help me uh, tweaking it. Uh, and uh, by chance, once more, he accepted it uh, to, to do it. So then after I went on the tag manager and I created this uh, given tag that you can see over here. Um, so I used the custom dimension. So for that, I created a custom dimension uh, first. So I went over here, I click on the new tab, and then I uh, went on custom dimensions, and I created my custom dimension at the scope of uh, the visit. As you can see here, I named it AdSense. And uh, this is my script. So it's the legacy tracking code of uh, Matomo Analytics to which uh, I append, in fact, the script that you can see over here, here, the set timeout. Oops, so this one, I can just copy it. Um, as you can see, uh, the custom dimension is uh, before the track page view and the track page view has to be uh, within the set timeout, if not, uh, what's going to happen is that the track page view will be loaded um, before the set custom dimension and it won't, it won't work. Okay, let's uh, copy and paste this over here. So as you can see, uh, the script is, uh, is really tiny now uh, because Lucas optimized it and uh, it's quite different from the original one that one can see uh, over here. Yep, like this. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's now the, the new script. And as you can see, if there is ads by Google on the page, 
Uh, so if it's not loaded, what's going to happen is that it's going to push the information ads are not blocked. If not, it's going to say ads are blocked. Um, so as a result, let's imagine that I'm going on the website. Uh, here I have ad block on. So I'm going to go on the website, which in my case is Satoshi Converter website. This one. Okay. I go on this website. Um, on this website, I have AdSense on. In fact, that's the one that you can see over here. And as you can see here on the page, um, uh, normally the ad is below so here uh, you can clearly see that the ad is not uh, loaded at all because uh, the the text is here uh, right away so if i look now within the dashboard i should see my visit so we are today on the 7th of april and if i look through the visitor i should see uh, that's uh, so that's not the one that i wanted oops okay that's my website uh, on the seventh, ads are blocked, which is the case because uh, ads are blocked. Uh, but now I'm going to make another visit. I'm going to use Chromium for that, on which I don't have uh, the visits blocked. And I don't have the ad blocked on, I mean, apps. Uh, so I got it. So here, as you can see, the ads are on because I get this huge white uh, space over mm -hmm. here. My website is not that popular, so that's the reason why I don't get uh, any ads on. Uh, but the ads are uh, loaded. It's just that the inventory is um, is a blank. And here, as you can see, ads are not blocked. Um, so how this information is going to be pushed afterward? So they are pushed as a custom dimension at the visit level. So uh, what's going to happen afterward is that you can uh, you can check those data directly within uh, within Matomo. You can create segments uh, based on this. Uh, it's just to let you know that this script uh, has not been massively used. So of course I just did it as a proof of concept, but I'm not a developer at all. Uh, there may be many many different ways in which uh, this configuration is not going to work. Uh, but just to let you know that it's uh, it's possible. It's just about thinking about a way about how you can measure that an ad has been loaded or not, and then uh, based on on those, then just send information as a custom dimension. And that's in fact most what your um, developer will need is that if based on the condition the ads are not loaded, then send in then send the data as a custom dimension in order to say that this visitor has an ad blocker, and afterward you can in fact measure how much you lost. Uh, in terms of uh, non-revenue. And that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.